Grunkle Games. Hello, welcome back. Grunkle Games, board Hello. gaming on a budget. <laughs> I'm Ben. I'm Jessica. Why are we excited for the end of this episode, babe? Because at the end of this episode, we get to announce a winner, right? Yeah. Of our <laughs> challenge, or not challenge, but contest. Yes. We are going to draw a name, and one of you is going to win a board game. But for now, we wanted to roll our lucky four-sided die and see what our budget's going to be for the game for this episode. You want to roll the no, die, I'll babe? No, I'll be your desk. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pretty desk, pretty <laughs> lady. One. What does that mean? One dollar? One. So it means we have to find a game between zero and ten dollars to play. Ooh, I think you can do it. I hope so. I, think I really, you can do I'm it. sure we can. I know. So I know let's you can. let's go find one, babe. Okay. Hello. Hi. We're here. We found a game <laughs> under ten dollars. Now I got to be honest. After tax on Amazon, it was ten dollars and six cents. Oh no. So I hope you'll forgive me. I, I think you really like what we picked. Show them, baby. It's called Ramen Fury. Oh my gosh. And for our family members that are watching, it basically should just be like the Merrill game because... Really any of our friends who yes. went to college yes. and had to eat this stuff. We noticed it's also carried at Walmart. Which is where we found it originally. But this must be pretty popular. It was made in 2019. I love the packaging. It looks like a package of ramen. Babe, why don't you open it up and show Oh, that. you're going to die. The wonders of this Ramen Fury game. Kind of in the same vein as Sushi Go, but we might like this one more. We'll I don't find know. out. Look at this. It's a little pack of ramen. <laughs> I can't believe oh, it. It's a block of noodles. And so it's like literally like packaging. I just think that is a very neat feature for Isn't 10 bucks. Neat? Yeah. Like, very cool. Win. Come can see I these pop these out? Adorable little soup spoons. Ugh, can I pop them out? Yeah, we each need yes. two. So well, I'm popping them all out. Oh, you're going to pop them all out. This is like an ASMR video. Hold on. Thank you, dear. You're going to get three empty bowls set up to start the game per player. These purple cards, purple backs, they are all the different ingredients. So we each start out with three... And then there's a, ooh, kind of like a, like a pot from the middle. Yeah, they call it the pantry. So do we <laughs> want it on the full bowl side or the empty bowl? Right now it's empty because we're making our soup. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, okay. This is so cute. Yeah, okay. this is great. It says in the rules, the person who have most recently eaten ramen gets to go first. I had some yesterday. You did? With my leftover Olive Garden. You had ramen too? There was that sriracha <laughs> chicken. Because well, I had started to make the ramen and then I remembered I had Olive Garden leftovers. But I didn't want to waste anything, so I ate everything. He's a liar. He read the rules before this. No. Figured out that the first person gets to go first who ate ramen <laughs> and decided to eat ramen yesterday. I'm bitter. I really want to win. Dirty rat. There are six different actions you can take, and you get two actions per turn. I'm going to start by. Uh, putting a beef flavor in one of my bowls. Oh, I haven't even looked at my cards. So there's like and different then... flavors, right? So there's like beef, shrimp, pork, chicken, beef, shrimp. <laughs> chicken. Mm. Mm. And then I'm going to... That's from Mulan, just in case anybody didn't know that. Oh, they knew that, right? Hopefully. Second action, I took something from the pantry. So now it's Jess's turn. How do I know what ingredients I want to put in my ramen? Um, it's going to depend on, you need some flavor cards. First. They're going to tell you what you're kind of going for. Okay, so I'm going to play, I'm going to do what you did exactly. A beef flavor. And I want mushrooms because I love mushrooms. mushrooms. What does it mean, a pair? So two of the same ingredient. I get six points, but three of the same ingredient, I get ten points. Yes. Okay, but these unique, so... Like an egg and then a pork. And so then if I get 14 different ingredients? No, like if you have one, two, three, four different meats in your ramen, you get 14 points. Meats? Oh, because it's, how do you know it's meat? Oh, that little guy. Yeah, the little T-bone. Does egg count as meat? Yeah, it's got the symbol. Meat symbol. Veggie symbol. Oh. Oh my gosh, we're like identical right now. I know, I'm not even trying to do it that way, but. 
I'm going to play this Chili Peppers card on you. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Minus one? Unless with Fury flavor. Yeah. You're a mean. <laughs> chili Peppers. Put the Fury in Ramen Fury. <laughs> and I'm tasting it. No more than five ingredients. Okay. And only one flavor ingredient per bowl. All right, did you go then? No. Oh. I'm going to play chicken. Chicken flavor. Okay. So you drew and then I feel like chicken. that's racist. We shouldn't make Asian. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thankfully for you, you're bad at accents, so it didn't sound like Oh, any... rude. It sounded like <laughs> that's nothing. That's true. What, what do our spoons do again? Uh, you can steal an ingredient from your opponent or from the top of one of your bowls and put it somewhere else. Hmm. Also, How do I get rid of the chili peppers? One of your possible actions you can do is empty, which means you can just discard all the no, ingredients in a bowl and like start the bowl over. Naruto. I whenever we go to ramen places and I get these, Ew, I take them. Take them, out. them off. They're grody. But they're, they're yeah. They're like <laughs> fish eggs or something. <laughs> Every time we ask the workers, they don't really know. They, they don't, don't know tell what it us, is. Like, they don't know how to explain to us what they are. So, Who so knows? the game ends when one player has eaten all three of their bowls of ramen. Okay. And the next player gets one last turn, and then we count points. Oh, my gosh. We're making ramen for dinner. I'm like, so <laughs> excited for ramen. Oh, my word. Look at all this flavor. 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 So can I play nori garnish on top of my five ingredients, or does it have to be included in my five ingredients? It has to be one of the five. So you're at four now. That's, no. I'm at three. The flavoring counts as one. I know. So I only have three. No. <laughs> one, two, three, four. This is the bowl down here. Wait. This is the, the flavor. flavoring counts as the five cards? Yeah. Oh, you dirty rat. No so more you... than five ingredients. S no more than five ingredients. So you ruined one of my things with your dang chili powders. Okay, what? whatever. So Watch I played out. a third scallion, and then I'm eating this bowl. Yum. Yum. Now it's Jess's turn, the slurper. Ew. Ew, I hate that noise. <laughs> I guess I will refresh the yeah, these are... pantry. How many flavors are there? There are lots. That's one of your actions. Oh. Yeah, it is. But that means you get it right away. Oh, no. That's not very nice. You're mean. Oh, I just want to beat you up right now. Chashu. You have to eat that one or move one of the ingredients so you can add to it. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this chili She's pepper She's moving here. the chili. I guess I'll stick it here. So you're done now. Uh, no. I just... Grab the chashu. That doesn't count as a, as an action? Grabbing it and putting it on your thing? No. Hmm. It's a free Convenient. action. It hmm. says in the rules. Hmm. If you win Convenient. this game, please hmm. look it up. It's a real hmm. rule. She just hounds me so. <laughs> corn! I don't know about putting corn in your ramen, but. Turn this around for nine points. She's I'm eating, eating my bowl. How was it, babe? It was I'm a little spicy than I would have liked. <laughs> so I'm going to play shrimp flavor and then spoon one of your mushrooms away from you. No! Oh, my goodness. Oh. I played a chili pepper on you, you jerk. Right? So I only have six on that one. I got six on it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm grumpy with you right now. I used my spoons too early. That's a regret I have. <laughs> so the, my only options are to empty this. She's an early spooner. I wanted a chili pepper to play on Ben. Ugh, so you're eating your bowl. Wow, you just whomped me big on that one. Okay, everybody. Let's count up the points. Yeah, let's count up the points. I guess, hold on, guys. Listen, do you remember how <laughs> this is our 11th episode, I think? I have, if I win, this is like my first or second time ever winning. <laughs> okay, okay. Have I been correct. a bad sport? I'm You've like, been a good sport. Oh I'm being goodness. a terrible sport. So I have 18 is what I got. 
Twenty-eight. Oh my gosh! Ten points ahead of me. Oh wow! You really just got sweet victory on that one. I found you? my game. I Yay. found it. Yay! Okay. It's Robin Fury, everybody. Okay. This game is enjoyable. I like this game a lot. I I don't know if I love the theme more or the actual gameplay, but it is a lot of fun. It's and fun. I think it's two to five. Players. So if playing with five players, I think it would be so much fun. Oh, yeah. Around a table, you can make it a party night and mm -hmm. have ramen with your friends. Yes. And... This is a really fun game, and I recommend it. Do you have any downsides or anything? Any um, other comments? I, I did like what you say stated about having, like, an action card. That would have been helpful so that we keep didn't have track. to keep referring to, like, flipping the rules. Flipping the rules. There aren't many rules, but that does that always slow things down um, a little bit. No, other than that, I really don't. It's simple. It's fun. It's, I think it's easy to play with little kids again. Yeah, like, matching. It's a family game. If you're having like a serious game night, you can. This is one you can pull out at the beginning while some other friends are arriving, or just to kind of yeah. like get everyone in the mood for games. And five five players is a good amount because I feel like you either have like four. Like yeah. it's hard to find a game with. A more amount of people and five is pretty good five so. is pretty good so i'd recommend you go buy it but one of you might have the opportunity to, to take it home because this is the episode where we draw the winner Yay. of our board game drawing so just so, just had the clever idea of putting the names in the ramen fury bag and drawing a winner for us okay do you want to do the honors yeah i'll do it okay <laughs> no, who is it? The winner is Jake Hunsaker. Yay, Jake! Jake! You have been a faithful follower of this channel. <laughs> yes, you have, You've always sir. believed in Greco games, so you deserve a board game for free. You get to choose from Arcane Bakery Clash, 5-Minute Dungeon, or, or Ramen, Ramen Fury. Fury. So I'll be hearing from you. Get in touch with me or Jess, and we'll make sure this game gets to you. Oh, Jake. I'm this happy is for fun. You. We're real excited. Uh, I'm sorry to my brother. Yeah, Jay. I, I know you're mad right now. <laughs> and Madsen Brothers, but. But guess what, guys? We're going to do another drawing in a few more episodes. So, so stay tuned. This is the fun of Grunko Games, board gaming on a budget. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you next month for a special Halloween. Woo! Episode. See you later.